Well, hello, lovely humans, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are joined by a very special guest, and that is Mr. Jamie Wolfer. Hey. Also known as Elias, my husband. Um, just yesterday, I jumped onto Instagram and asked you guys what questions you had for a groom, and I know you guys have kind of been anticipating this video for a while, and I finally roped him into doing it, and he's really excited about it. Aren't you, babe? Yay. Yay. And we only have a limited amount of time before the toddler gets up from his nap, and the girls get home from school, so we are just going to dive right on into it. So without further ado, questions for groom. Jump right on into it. I did my intro wrong. Uh oh. Did you redo it? No, it's fine. Hello, lovely people. Humans. Is that your voice? <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly how I sound. How much were you involved in the planning process? Do you wish it was more or less? I feel like I was relatively involved because we did a lot of DIY. Yeah. Don't wish I was more or less. <laughs> yeah. I felt like it was good. It was just kind of, you know, Jamie had a vision and I didn't care. So it was just me helping her make that vision happen. Yeah. And I think it's important to note kind of starting off um, that his personality might be drastically different than the person that you're marrying. So like take everything that he's saying with a grain of salt um, because I, I think that you felt like you were just the right amount of involved and not... I don't think you were like Jones in to be more involved in like. In I was perfect. You were perfect. What was the most important part of the wedding day for you? Food. <laughs> the food. And what do we have for food? Tacos. Yes. Really good tacos. Really good street tacos. I did not have enough of them though. No. You got pretty hangry before we ate too. Oh yeah. Did you get excited about how the wedding would end up looking, but you hid it? No. <laughs> I didn't hide it. I was excited. It looked great. And I told my wife it looked great. There you go. And you better tell your wife it looks great. Yes, you should. it doesn't. Yes, you should. Mm-hmm. You should be like, wow, babe, those DIY invitations are the best thing I've ever seen. Although we did have some cool invitations. Yeah, those are cool. Again, subtle plug. I'll, I'll link those up here if you haven't checked those out because I actually did the DIY here on this channel. Now, next question. What to get as a groomsman gift? <laughs> we have to actually give it to them. Yeah. So I procrastinate and I procrastinated and the thought was oh, like, you know, they always have these, you know, like all oh, pocket knife and they engrave something on it. And I was like, that's lame. I want to figure out something cool, like something everybody will enjoy. And then I procrastinated and then it was a last minute scramble and I ended up going to BevMo and grabbing a bunch of just beer steins, glass ones. And then I was going to get them engraved. And part of my groomsman requirement was that everybody had to have a mustache. So everybody's been working on these mustaches for a while. So I was going to engrave a mustache on the bottom and their initials. And then the engraving was absurdly expensive. And it was just, so I didn't get it done. And then I also got little mini bottles of booze. Like <laughs> booze. to everyone, but didn't get it to them. I think I gave two away. Yeah. Like last year. Honestly, Maybe we still year. have all the steins from all of his groomsmen. They never made it to them. We still have the mini bottles of alcohol. It would have been a great groomsman gift. Although we did do um, proposal boxes for our bridal party. And again, that's another DIY that I did. So I'll link that up here for you guys. So that one was cool. You did give that gift mostly because I put it together for you. So it was done in time. Yeah. yeah. I, I would recommend though, I appreciate when I'm a groomsman, a pocket knife. I can never have too many knives. You can engrave something if you want or don't. It's just kind of a waste of your money. I don't really care. Just give me a cool pocket knife. Makes you feel manly. Yeah. You can stab things with it. Like your food. It's not... <laughs> God. I use my pocket knife to eat sometimes. You've never used your pocket knife to eat? Not in front of you at work. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You don't have a knife. Hard to spread with a spoon. Nope. Okay, we're moving on. Tips on how to involve my groom in the planning process without overwhelming him. Oh, that's for me? I figured that's kind of more for That's you. kind of more for me, I think. Uh, I guess the best way of putting it is I only gave him things that I knew were within his skill set that he could complete in a timely manner. Because like he said before, he does procrastinate a little bit. A lot. A lot of it. He procrastinated a lot of it. Um, but stuff like we built our own backdrops, and so um, he put together these wood frames, and we stretched painters, um, drop cloth, that canvas material, over the front of them, so he was able to put those together for me. Those kinds of things where he could do the handy side of things and then I could in turn make it pretty afterwards. So it was giving him things that were within his skill set because I feel like if I had given you like, do me a favor and go on Pinterest and find like centerpieces that you really like and let me know, you 
You come back with a bunch of like antlers and camo. Yeah, there would have been too much camo. So like I, I, I and rocks because rocks are cheap. What? No, who, nobody does rocks as centerpieces. I could. Okay. <laughs> could be cool. And that's why we only give him things that he could handle, and nothing outside of that. So it was just important for me to understand what his skill set was, um, and gauge how involved or interested he happened to be in those things, and how much I wanted to nag him to get the stuff done because there was there was a little bit of nagging, but like. Not nagging, nagging. It's just gentle reminders, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. What's something you didn't care about and something you loved in planning your wedding? I guess I didn't really care about kind of the overall design. Like, I, I mean, I knew it would be cool. And Jamie and I have similar tastes, and I know that. So it was like, I trust you, so I don't really care about, like, having my two cents. So like, well, I think that leaf should be yeah. a different leaf. I don't know. What was the second part? The second part was, what's something you loved in planning the wedding? Loved in planning the wedding? You were Nothing. just so indifferent, I think, to the entire process. This was definitely my baby. It yeah. wasn't his at all. It was 100% mine. Um, and I just brought him in where I needed help or needed assistance. So I don't think there was anything about the wedding planning process that you loved or hated either way because... I took most of the ownership of it simply because I knew you weren't interested and I knew that I would have a lot of fun doing it. Yeah. But that's just because that's how it worked out best for us. I'd probably say I did love, because we didn't do any like food taste testing, mm -hmm. but we did taste uh, Amy's desserts. Oh, we and had a dessert I table. loved the dessert tasting and sampling up front. Yeah, that was fun. My cousin is actually a professional baker. She does wedding dessert tables for a living. Um, if you guys are in the Southern California area, I will link her down below. Her cream cheese frosting is to die for. Um, Snickerdoodle. Oh, we had a snickerdoodle cake. Yeah. Or a cutting cake. So good. So good. So good. That, that I got you on board with. Like, oh, yeah. If I sh showed you three different flowers to select from, you'd be like, I don't know. But I show you three different desserts, and you're like, I want them all. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take for the guys to get ready versus the girls? This is actually a good one because at first my answer was like, oh, the guys were super easy. It didn't take too long, whatever. The girls took forever because we had hair and makeup. But you brought up an excellent point. Yeah. So we had, I had a lot of groomsmen and luckily not all of them stayed at the same place, but I think there was probably eight of us, maybe 10 of us mm -hmm. all crashed in one hotel room. So that left all of us to get ready in one hotel room. And yeah, guys are easy, but when you've got 10 guys all trying to shower in the same shower, and it Can was you like- you imagine being the 10th guy? Uh, yeah, I mean, you're like, you're tagging each other out, and then it's like, wait, I need the, the sink, because a lot of guys grew their beard out and then shaved it for the day so they could have just a mustache. Oh my gosh. So you're trying to shave, and there's like three guys trying to get in the mirror, and someone, and then Dallin has to go to the bathroom and we're all like, no way. Are you kidding me? So yeah. yeah, trying to just facilitate that many dudes to all shower and shave and get dressed. And it doesn't help when someone's got a bottle of booze who they, you know, start a little early. <laughs> Victor. Victor, yeah. if you're watching this, that's for you, my friend. Yeah. So I think it's important to say, like, obviously we, there was a bunch of DIY at our event. So you guys got, I mean, it was five hours of, hauling you know what to get this setup done so afterwards everyone had to shower and had to get ready so if you do have a larger bridal party um, a lot of groomsmen or um, if there is a lot of setup so they'll all need to shower afterwards make sure you take all that into account because that's something we did not do and it definitely I found out later that it was just chaos um, so while guys don't necessarily care about the aesthetic of the getting ready space, definitely make sure there's enough mirror space if they need to shave, if they need to do their hair, maybe there's multiple bathrooms in case one groomsman needs to commandeer a space for an extended period of time. Dallin? I don't care if it's an actual bathroom. Give me a hose, but make sure there's like four hoses. You're so strange. <laughs> like, what? At least it'd be faster. Yes, yeah, fair. Okay. Yeah. Would you both find yourselves arguing all the time? Not always happy planning. I don't think so. No, I don't think. I, I think, think it was me having these grandiose visions of what I wanted to pull off. And you lovingly trying to help me, but also trying to squeeze in all of these DIYs while working a full-time job. And then you kind of procrastinate, and then I get naggy. So I don't think we argued about the budget, because 
I mean, we only had what we had. There was nothing we could do about it. We both were fine on the food selection. Desserts, I just let you have free reign because like I would love anything that Amy bakes. But I think it was just getting the DIYs done and how stressed I got. Yeah, I think the most nagging was uh, like much as I don't want to admit this, me procrastinating and then like the backdrops. It's like, yeah, no, I'll get them done. No big deal. And I get them done, but then just not thinking, oh, wait, now that it's done, Jamie has to spend 10 hours painting these backdrops. Yeah. So yeah, I got it done, you know, a couple hours before the wedding, but no, it was more than a couple hours before, yeah. but it was definitely last minute where I'd asked for something like six months in advance. And all of a sudden we're four weeks out. Stop it. <laughs> all of a sudden we're four weeks out and I don't have these backdrops and I had these elaborate plans for what I wanted to do with them. And so it put a lot of constraints on my time. So I think our big takeaway was like, I definitely should have cut down on the DIYs and maybe you should have gotten the stuff done sooner. Maybe. Perfect time. No, it was not. What part meant the most to you? The food. No. <laughs> Let's go from an emotional approach this time. Leading into it, it was just like, oh, yeah, I just want, you know, good food and good beer. And, you know, it'll be fine. But looking back, I don't think I realized how emotionally I would get mm -hmm. and just kind of how it did impact me. And just kind of like the whole day just kind of felt like just on a high, just like, you know, seeing family members, I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, like I see them, it's like, oh, hey, good to see you. It's like, that was just so much more, mm. I don't know what to say, just yeah, It was like more. an epic family reunion. Yeah. We got to get all of our favorite humans into the same space and hang out with them for hours. And in fact, I remember being on the dance floor and you would not come join me because you were too busy talking with people. And I actually was a little pissed about it. <laughs> I was like, come dance with me. I don't know why I felt that way because you do not dance. Well, I dance. No, you don't. <laughs> I cut the rug. <laughs> One thing I guess that I would look back is I wish there was more kids mm. trying to keep costs down. And uh, wow, if everybody brings their kids, then that's a lot of money. And but like having all the kids on the dance floor and it's just cute. like it made it so much better. So it's just like invite people's kids. Having kids present was really important for us. Um, but we just felt like we had to cut them for budget sake. And that's something that I feel like both of us look back on. Like, oh, we, if we had invited the kids, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. They're super tiny. Obviously, our food was really cheap per head. So, like, we could have swung it, but we just chose not to because we were trying to be really tight with our budget. In that same thread, do you regret doing a first look? No. Um, I mean, like, I never, never really thought about it up front. Didn't really care much <laughs> prior to. But then really glad that we did just because it, it seemed like it just made everything so much less stressful. And it was like then after the ceremony, we didn't have to disappear forever. It yeah. was just like, all right, party mode. Let's go. Let's let's go see everyone. And it's like if it was, okay, now take you away for an hour. And it's just like, oh, great. Come on. Every, like they're already getting in the beer. <laughs> and I've got to stand over here. Like, and smile and pretend to look happy with my new wife. Yeah. So I was excited. I, I thought it was great. I yeah. wouldn't do it any differently. I think kind of your concern was, well, if we see each other before, then it won't be as special when you walk down the aisle. But mm -hmm. I mean, I'll fully admit, I started tearing up and choking up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like just, I'd seen her 30 minutes prior. It wasn't even that long. I talked about this in like my uh, first look video, like to do it or to not do it, the pros and cons list. I mean, you dropped me off, drove around to the other side of the building, parked, got in line, and then the ceremony started. I mean, it was maybe 15 minutes. And it, so it wasn't the fact that, oh, you know, I'm seeing her walk down the aisle. This is the first time I've seen her today. No, it's it's the moment mm -hmm. that it happened. It wasn't, well, I've seen her, you know, previously today, so it's no big deal. This is whatever. It was still the, like the kickstart, the moment like, oh my gosh, we're actually getting married. Yeah. Yeah. What's something you wish you would have done, but didn't? I know um, what I wish we would have done. Eaten. No. Oh. <laughs> what's what's a vendor that we wish we would have hired oh wedding coordinator yeah yeah that's one thing but not even because there's a wedding coordinator sitting next to me it just there was no one no key person to like push things along mm -hmm. it was like you know we're out doing pictures and it's like well stuff needs to be happening over there mm -hmm. but there's no one to drive that and we're taken away so it's like uh okay uh, like okay wait hold on and it just it felt disjointed mm -hmm. i mean it worked out we survived yeah but I mean, and one example, just like not having that, we fell behind in like a few places and I don't know, it goes back to food again, but 
I'm starving. Yeah. I need anything all day. I just, I need something to eat because I'm getting hangry. Then it was like, okay, rush, okay, entry song, blah, 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 like go sit down. It's like, I need food, I need food. Okay, here's two tacos. Oh, we're behind. Let's go. We got to go do this. I'm mm-hmm. like, I just ate two tacos. I need like 10 more. Like, tiny street tacos. They were yeah. delicious, but because we were so far behind, in fact, we were standing waiting for our grand entrance for 20 minutes waiting for someone to cue us. People are walking by us being like, what are you doing? We're like, we're waiting for someone to make the announcement. Can someone please go tell the DJ? Like, "Uh so then we finally get in. We rush straight to the table. You scarf down two tacos, but then we had to like keep the timeline moving because there was no one else to run it for us. So because food is so important to him and the fact that he only got two tiny, teeny tiny tacos. Food is important to everyone. Okay. You need to eat or you get angry. What? kind of ideas and or suggestions did he have for the wedding and which ones were actually used um i don't think the food was really my suggestion but we were both fine fine. with tacos yeah yeah desserts i think maybe i was like oh carrot cake so i think we had some little carrot cake Mm -hmm. things that was awesome and then i know one idea that you really really wanted and i was staunchly against but we ended up doing it our grand entrance song yeah (laughs) yeah that was like You know, we're picking songs and stuff, and it's like, I don't really care. Yeah, first dance, whatever you want. You know, this dance, yeah, sure. I mean, I picked out the the song for my mom, Mm -hmm. my entrance song. Like our grand entrance, the song that he wanted to be played as we were walking in to our reception for the first time. He, like, wanted this so bad, and I said no about 100 times, and then I surprised him with it. I thought my hopes and dreams were just shot down, and then we started walking in, and it was like, yeah. He started headbanging. It was Duhast by Ramstein. Yep. <laughs> Awesome. I was like, you're one moment for the day. That's all you get. Yep. <laughs> and you can bet your bottom dollar some of the older folk there were like, what is happening? <laughs> Why is someone yelling at me in German? <laughs> Oh, it well, it, it made him happy. Yep. Like, that's all you and needed. And it was like five seconds. So just let your groom have that one piece if that's what he wants. That's you great. Know? I feel really good about it. Yeah. And then, let's see. What's it like being married to a wedding planner? I don't I don't know. What is it like? It's like being married to my wife and she's really passionate about her job. I'd mm-hmm. imagine just the same as, you know, being married to... Anyone who's very passionate about their job and mm. loves what they're doing. They come home and they like to talk about it and exciting things. Just like what I do. I'm excited. I love what I do. So I come home and... Well, now people are going to ask what you do, so you should probably share. Oh, I'm a general contractor. My dad and I yeah. build stuff. He loves the building of stuff. Yep. Yep. So. But I think I think the question is more like as far as time away from the home, me meeting with clients. And I actually do a lot. I work really hard to make sure all of a lot of stuff is done before he even gets home from work. And I don't actually have, I don't do that many events, especially this year. I mean, I think I might have 15 events total for the entire year, which is great. It works out really well for us. So, um, and I handle most of my appointments here. I do Skype meetings or FaceTime meetings instead of, um, kind of driving all around Southern California to meet with people unless it's a walkthrough or rehearsal or those kinds of things. So I'm actually not gone from the house that much. Yeah. And honestly, like, no offense, but when she does leave, I mean, it's it's kind of nice. Just like, <laughs> well, she'll leave. Yeah. She'll leave for a meeting, and you know, she'll usually be back maybe after the kids go to bed. Mm-hmm. So the girls and I would call it Daddy Daughter Night, yeah. and we'll order pizza and make popcorn and watch a movie and just hang out. And it's you know, it's like it's do stuff that mom doesn't let us do. Like we'll have dessert after. What? Well, not that we don't ever have dessert. Okay, I order pizza. Too much. But it's more special when I do it. I think what he's trying to say is it feels like it's a pretty normal job and it's nice when I leave. That's what you're trying to say, right? Yeah. (laughs) Great. There was one that I really wanted. Where is it? How did you score such an awesome wife? (laughs) Inquiring minds want to know, dear. So my wife scored such an awesome husband. Nope. By. Nope. (laughs) Lots and lots and lots of hard work and constantly flexing. Like, when she'd glance at you, you just got to suck it in, hold it, pretend like you're not fat. And she'd be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> See these veins? Check them out. My muscles. I think that's it. I think that's all we have. Anything else you want to mm-hmm. add? Well, we didn't really finish the last question. Oh, okay. Sorry. Please go ahead. Was that good? 
lots of flexing and sucking in the stomach. Yeah. Showing that from I mean, well, that was kind of like the joke answer. We were just kind of, we were friends for a while. Friends for years. I yeah, friend zoned in. She friends zoned me hard. I did. And I was just like, God, what a jerk. No, you weren't. You loved me the whole time. Yeah. Honestly, I, I feel like we pretty much equally love each other. Now. Now. <laughs> My poor husband. He's a great man. Yeah, if you get friends zone, just leave. Just run. Just just take off. <laughs> don't do You stuck around though. It. Yeah. And it was worth it. Ten out of ten. Recommend. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you. Okay. Now. Now. <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's all we have for today folks thank you so much for stopping by i uh, hope you enjoyed this because he's not going to be invited back for a very very long time <laughs> all right. yeah oh but i get to do your makeup but that's not on this channel oh i'm probably going to be doing more videos with him on my second channel which is my lifestyle channel hey nice plug thanks for bringing that oh. up so if you guys haven't checked that out already feel free to to check it out i'm good at this <laughs> yeah. i i get to do her makeup She's going to tell me, uh, like, a face style, and I'm going to put makeup on, but not tell me how to do it. So, this video is something we've talked about, but it hasn't happened yet. It's good. So, if you guys are interested in seeing my husband do my makeup on my second channel, let us know in the comments below, because we're very excited. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more action. For more tips and tricks for the modern day bride. Yep. Yep, and until next week, bye guys! Should I wave? Yeah, you should wave. <laughs> You're so dumb. You. <laughs> this is so stupid. You're the dumbest person I've ever met. I hate you so much. Okay. You're so ugly. Why are you here? And you have a stupid face. Okay, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> you can put that as a blooper? <laughs> I'm fine. I just spit. Ew. You have hair from your haircut in your ear. I know. I'm picking everywhere and it's scratching my neck. <laughs> he got a, He got a haircut just for this video. You're welcome. Well, I need it anyway. Nope, just for this Not video. Not that weird and conceited. Just for this video. I feel like my forehead's super greasy. Can you no, it's fine. Photoshop that out? Your whole forehead? Yeah. <laughs> my... Can you bring it down to a f an actual forehead? Instead of a seven head? Five. Come on. <laughs>